Good afternoon. This is Linda K. And this is Block Tube number 18. And I'm going to split um, this in two parts. Uh, today is going to be just my current whip that I'm working on. And then I'm going to make another video of my whip parade. So it'll be done in two parts. Um, today is Saturday, <coughs> January the 4th of 2020. And my weather is cold and snowy. But it's not, the snow is not sticking to the ground. I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve and a great Christmas. And I wish you all a very happy New Year. And I appreciate all of your comments and for watching my videos. And just taking your time out to watch my videos. That means a lot to me. Okay. I have one, two, three. I have three whips that I want to show you. And the first one is called Daisy, Ar Daisy Orphans Heaven and Earth Design. And I will show you a picture of it. That's what it looks like. And the design, the artist is Sandra Cook. And I'm doing this on 18 count tall craft Ada white and to be honest with you I started on this three different times first time I didn't like the fabric the second time um I started in the wrong place I think it was and then this is the third time so here is the whole thing as of yesterday Amen. I can't see you but here's what it looked like I'm on page 10 out of 11 and try to do this look at that and of course my cat wants to join me and this section right here, this is this is her elbow, her part well part of her arm, and then her elbow is like right here, and then her arm is going up like this, and she's gonna be holding flower daisy daisies right through here. And then this that's right here at the end of page ten. So I got that much more to go on it yet. And then page 11 will go my at? will go this way. And my cat is photobombing the video. So that is the whole thing. I guess great. And there's lots of confetti touching in this. So, and I'm only doing one block at a time, a 10 by 10 block, one time, one time, one at a time going down. That way I won't mess up. And I started it back in 2011. So that's my actual start date for this. And, you know, some of, you know, for those who do the heaven and earth design patterns, you do, you know that some of them are just partial pages too. So that helps out quite a bit too. So that's... And I try to work on this every day. 
and if there is like a confetti dancing in one block, I'll, I'll do like like one column within that 10 by 10 block. And then the next day I'll do the second column, third day I'll do the third column and so on until I get the confetti dipping done within that block. So that's whip number one. Whip number two. And I will show you a picture of it. Oh, maybe. Okay, I guess I don't. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it. Well, now my roof is back. Yeah. Okay, it calls Queen and the Garden. And here's what it looked like. And the uh, artist slash designer, uh, Donna Vermillion Gampy. And I love her pattern. And I think I may ha have one other one by her. Now I'm doing this on 28 count ice blue Lugana 2 over 2. And maybe oh, oh okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's do it this way. So that's what it looks like. That's what I got done so far. So what you're seeing is the white part and the grayest parts are the part of the bench. The white bench and then the colorful area that you see the pink and the purples and the greens that is part of the quilt and the quilt is laying over the top of the bench so that's how much I got done on it and it's going well because there's like you know like one block Full of like one color and then then the next black is full of another color so it's gone kind of slow but I love this project as my favorite project from last year into this year and I'm hoping to have this done sometime this year but I would really like to get it done and I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine So that's whip number two. And I work on this every day too. I mostly stitch at night. Then that way I get my break done in the daytime. Because if I stitch too much for too long, then I get severe muscle spasms in my left shoulder blade area. And then my third rib is by Mirabilia. And it's called Silver Moon Tea. And this is what it looks like. This is the only Mirabilia that I'm working on. I don't have any other one started. This is my only one. And here is, get my foot out of the way here. And here is what it looks like, what I got done so far. I'm almost done. I got two more top rows to finish. I mean to do yet. And plus the section that I'm working on which is 
this right here. And and once I get over this way toward the white, then this whole this whole section is completely done except for the beading. And then I have the two top rows to finish to do yet. And where that stop that that is the end of my two rows. So I still got that much more to go. Yay! And then of course I got the rest of the beading to do. And I'm doing this on 28 count. I still bought the information, but I didn't. At 28 count something by uh, hand dyed fabric by Stephanie. And I can't think of the name of the color, color of the fabric. I just lost my mind. Just flew out the, through, just flew away. But that's how much I got done on it. So, if I keep working on this, I should have the testing done probably by the end of this month. And and then I can finish doing the beading. Some of the beading is done. So I should got to finish the rest of the beading once I get the testing done. So those are the my main three projects right now. This one, the Heaven and Earth Design Daisy Offerings, and then the Spring Garden. So those are the three that I'm working on. So that is all of my uh, current whips that I'm working on. And then I'll probably get this one done first. And once I get this one done, then I will pick another whip to work on. What you will see in my whip parade video. So once I get this one done, then I will pick up another one and, and work on it. So... Hopefully by the end of this month, I will have this one completely done, including the beading. I already got the beads, and I just need to get busy and get it done. So those are the three. And then, um, sometime this coming week, I will make a whip parade video. And so you all of my unfinished projects I want to get done this year. And I'm not sure how many I got. I think probably about between 10 and 20. So, and there's another one that I want to get done and I'll show you, I'll show it to you in my whip parade. So, that is all for today. So my next video will be my whip parade. And hopefully I'll get that done sometime between now and the end of this coming week. I hope you all have a very great teaching week. And get lots of teaching done. And thank you so much for watching my video. See you in my next video. Bye.